I want to show you a simple process for recording vendors' invoices for items that you purchase and then turning around and creating a check for that invoice. So let's take a look at it. We're looking at Dynamics 365 for financials. Here's my login screen here. First thing I want to do is I want to create a new purchase invoice. So I'll click on that here. I'm going to look up my vendor. And this is the vendor from whom I purchase a lot of my inventory items. I'm going to enter the invoice number. Then I want to look up the items that were included on that invoice. These are the three items I had on my vendor's invoice for items I purchased from him and the quantities. Now I'm going to go ahead and post that. And when I post it, it's going to update accounts payable and my inventory. So I'm done entering that invoice. I posted it. I want to go back and create a check to pay the vendor for that invoice. So let's go up here to the finance area. And I'm going to select the appropriate journal. This is going to be a payment journal. And I've created a payment journal for my payable check. So I'm going to click on that. And this allows me to create payments to vendors that I'm going to create checks for. So I'm going to look up my vendor here. This is the vendor right here. I'll select that. And then I'm going to apply the entries. This will show me my open invoice that I have for this particular vendor. This is the invoice I want to include on my payment to the vendor. So I'm going to select it and click on Set Applies to ID. That'll enter a value for me. Hit OK. That then becomes the value for the check. You can see that right here. See the account from which it's going to be made. And then I'm going to scroll over here a little bit to the right. And the bank payment type I want to make is a computer check. So I'll select that. And then I'm going to go ahead and print the check. And here's a standard check format that I would go ahead and print on my checks. If I want to, I can void that check and run it again. But I'm going to accept it. And then I'm just going to post and print. So this will post a transaction and then print the journal. And we'll take a look at it. Here's the posting journal right here. It shows the account numbers that are affected by this particular transaction. Let's go back now and take a look at that transaction in my general ledger. Here are some of the accounts that I go to on a regular basis. We'll click down on the checking account. Let's click on the Navigate tab. And then we'll click on Ledger Entries. And I'll show my entry right here. This is the entry that we just created. It's the cash account portion of it. You can see that right here. So this is a simple way to enter a vendor's invoice for items that you purchase for your business and then turn around and create a check for those invoices. Mm -hmm.